If you were thinking about moving to Tyler, Texas and you've done any kind of research at all, I'm sure you have heard of the historic Azalea District. And that is exactly where we are today. We're gonna have a look around, we're gonna learn a little bit more about it and see whether the Azalea District in Tyler, Texas is the best place and neighborhood for you and your family to move to. Howdy, howdy everyone, and welcome back to the channel. For everyone new here, my name is Ronnie Withers, and if you wanna know what it's like to live, eat, sleep, work, and play in Tyler, Texas, and the surrounding areas, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you're the first to be notified on any single Tyler, Texas market update. My team and I are getting calls every single day of people just like you who are looking to either relocate to Tyler, move within Tyler, or sell their Tyler home. So if that does sound like you, please go ahead and reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We'll get together, we'll hop on a call, and we will get you into your dream Tyler home. So like I said, we are here in the historic Azalea District today. And one of the telltale signs that you're in the Azalea District is these beautiful, historic red brick roads. Not every street in the Azalea district has them, but some of them do. So that is a distinguishing characteristic of the, of the Azalea district. So a little bit of facts about the Azalea district. So it's comprised up of 36 sections and it's Tyler's biggest concentration of early to mid 20th century homes. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, I've got a little bit I need to read because I just for the life of me cannot remember some of these styles of homes, but you've got a big concentration of architectural patterns, including Queen Anne, Craftsman, class, Classic Revival, Ranch, and International style homes. And I'm not even gonna pretend to know exactly what every single one of those are, but if you're a design nerd out there, I'm sure that will make some sense to you. The Azalea District is located very close to downtown Tyler, within a five minute drive. So no matter where you are, it's very, very walkable, very drivable. You've got some beautiful mature trees as well. Just behind me or just in front of me over there is Bergfeld Park. So you're very, very close to a park. Don't wanna to get too close, get in there right now because I may seem like a bit of a weirdo with a camera, selfie stick, video and everyone. So rest assured I've been to Bergfeld Park a lot of times before, so look at one of my previous videos, but Bergfeld Park basically opposite the start of the Azalea District. What we're gonna do today, we're just gonna have a little bit of a tour around different neighborhoods in the Azalea District. We're gonna look at four different homes, four different price points, and just see, because one thing about the Azalea District is you can find a home in the 200,000s or you can find a home in the millions. And as well as homes, we have a lot of places to rent as well. So without further ado, let's go to our first neighborhood in the Azalea District, have a look around and just see what the low 200 gets you. So our first stop today is gonna to be on South Robertson Avenue, which is gonna be here in the Azalea District. This is a really, really nice area, sidewalks, so it's really good. And like I said before, homes in the Azalea District are all over the place. You can get a home for the 200,000s all the up, way up into the multiple millions. So the house I'm gonna show you is actually for sale right here behind me. It's actually listed by my buddy Jake at my brokerage, and it's listed for around 270, nine thousand dollars it's a four bed two bath just over two thousand square foot and it was built in 1946 so it's a really old home but it's in a really really nice location so it's right it's got a sidewalk right here you're gonna have a way to go to your garage back here and just on a nice peaceful road and one of the things that is going to be a very common theme on our tour today is going to be a lot of mature trees because all the homes were built in the early to mid 20th century trees, bushes, azaleas, where the historic azalea district gets its name. In springtime, there's loads of azaleas, people plant azaleas, and it's an absolutely beautiful place to be. So that's how the azalea district gets its name. You're gonna have a lot of foliage, a lot of beauty, a lot of really old trees. So that's one of the amazing things about the Azalea District. So let's head on to our second street neighborhood now, have a look at a, a, a home a little bit higher in the price point, um, and then stick around to the end of the video because we're gonna have a couple of multi-million dollar homes. We've made our way to Tremont Street now, again, in the Azalea District. I'm just gonna stop saying that now because this whole video is about the Azalea District. So just assume that every neighborhood we're in is in the Azalea District. Tremont Street. 
with a lot of big trees. But um, the home that I'm going to show you, this one right behind me, for sale now, six hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. It is a four bed, three bath, three half bath. It is six thousand three hundred and twenty-one square foot, so it's a huge house, and it was built in nineteen sixty-three. So again, a little bit older, but kind of getting up there a little bit in the six hundreds. The road very nice very walkable there aren't any sidewalks on this particular road and street but if you just have a look around me at all these mature trees one of the things about the azalea districts like i've mentioned is all the trees but you're going to have some maples you're going to have some pecan trees obviously all the azaleas as well in spring highly recommend that you check the azalea district out in spring because the azaleas are just popping and i'll try and find some photos and pop them up here one other thing about the azalea district is that it was officially made it a historic residential district in june of 2003 so for you history nerds out there that'll be an interesting fact and because of its historic designation there will be certain things and restrictions in neighborhoods in the azalea district of things you can and can't do with your home for example you can't just completely bulldoze your house and build a really modern looking house because that would take away from the historic feel of the, of the location so if you are the type of person that doesn't mind a little bit of restrictions especially sacrificing freedom when it comes to having a really nice beautiful historic home and being surrounded by the same then the azalea district could be for you the azalea district you can unless you're someone that's looking for acres and acres and acres 20 30 40 acres the azalea district could be a great place for you because like I said, there's homes in pretty much any price range, any style, any condition. You'd struggle to not find a home that you like in the Azalea District. And it's really, really nice how central it is as well. Like I said, five minutes from downtown Tyler, you're, very, you're next to a park, Bergfell Park, and there's other parks as well downtown. Coffee shops, places to eat. If you're looking for a walkable neighborhood, obviously it's Texas, Texas is, in general, isn't that walkable. But if you're looking for a somewhat walkable neighborhood, the Azalea District could be it for you. Right, let's cut the houses under a million now, and let's go and see two homes that have sold for over a million dollars. So it will just give you a bit of a better idea what the high price point gets in the Azalea District. So first house around one million, a little bit in the one millions, and then the, the second house, we're gonna be going up there into the multi-million. So again, let's hop in the car, We'll get to our multi-million dollar homes. Right, by the power of editing, we are here right now. So we are here, I don't usually do this, but we are here, South Chilton Street. South Chilton in the Azalea District. That's me doing it again. We're always gonna be in the Azalea District today. So we're on South Chilton. And again, really nice neighborhood. And you can really tell this is a beautiful neighborhood. Some of the homes here are absolutely gorgeous. Trying to be a little bit inconspicuous, but the home that sold in February of 2023 is this one. It sold for $1.6 million. The home is 7,100 square foot. It is a five bed, five bath, two half baths. Like I said, 7,100 square foot. It was built in 1936. It is Santa Barbara style. It has a courtyard and a swimming pool. And I'll put several photos because there's very, there's not too much I can, I can show you from the street. So I'll put some photos up. But absolutely amazing house this is the kind of house that if you want to buy somewhere and you've got a you either have no top budget or you have a budget above a million you want to be in a really really nice historic home but you don't want to have 20 30 40 acres then a home in the azalea district could be a really good choice for you just because there are some nice luxury homes that are custom built that are built in the 1930s really historic that you can be in the middle of town for that you don't necessarily need a car to drive around everywhere you're really close to stores you can walk if you want to like I show you around a little bit you've got sidewalks so it's a really walkable neighborhood you've got nice beautiful mature trees as well so if you have got that budget of over a million have a little look in the azalea district and see what there is and I can help you with that reach out to me we can get on a search in the azalea district and just have a look and see what we can find but I remember when this house sold oh, it was an absolutely beautiful home and it still is an absolutely beautiful home and I think it is an amazing, amazing home. So that's 1.6 million. Let's go to the final street and neighborhood and we're gonna have a look at the home. That was for sale for $3.2 million. Let's go to the final neighborhood right now. All right, so to finish up, to finish us up strong, we are here on West 6th, 6th Street 
and the home that I'm going to show you, can't get too close because there's a bunch of work going on at the moment, is the one just behind me over there. It was for sale for $3.2 million on West, West 6th Street. The home, five beds, seven and a half baths. I'll put some pictures up so you can actually see it better. Seven and a half baths, three car garage. It is one acre of land in the Isaiah district. It was built in 1937, so very old as well. So very big, very old home, an acre of land, that's massive. And it is surrounded by really nice houses, just like this one as well. So just imagine living in a huge home on one acre of land in the Isaiah district with beautiful, big, mature trees, some azaleas, flowers. It's just a really, really nice place to be. So we're just in the area now, surrounded by some really, really nice houses some beautiful trees on both sides of the road. There's sidewalks on both sides of this street. And again, very, very close to downtown Thailand shopping and everything you could ever need. One of my favorite things about the Azalea District is around Christmas time, all the homes put up the best Christmas lights. And there's almost like a little competition who can put up the best Christmas lights. And then you get given a pamphlet and you can drive around the different neighborhoods and just see all the beautiful Christmas lights. I'll try and some, find some photos and put them up, but that's one of the, the great things about the Azalea District. So thank you very, very much for making it to the end of the video. I hope this has helped give you a little bit more information whether the Azalea District could be a good neighborhood for you and your family. If you have any more questions about this area or anywhere else around the Tyler area, just reach out, give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. Love to get on a call with you, have a chat and get you into your dream Tyler home. Again, thank you for watching the video. Please leave a like if you did like the video. My name is Ronnie Withers and until next time, cheerio.